refreshing that I will oh we're live on all now okay hello this is Alex coming from Andrex headquarters in Melbourne Australia uh, just wanted to do a quick video of a positive demotics mic test we took a little bit earlier today um, so what you're seeing now on screen is the view from under the microscope so you can see the sample here the microscope so we're handheld today trying to coordinate so <laughs> forgive us but um, we think it's really important thank you guys I think it's really important to share demotics mites with the public um, probably if you're following us you've probably seen some of our posts and ads we're pretty constantly doing it uh, because demotics mites aren't talked about or known about nearly enough as they should be considering most people have them at some level um, so on screen is the test and specifically the reason why we wanted to show you this one is the lady who we sampled had a significantly high population of demotics mites and the test was a really great cross-section of uh, the two different species that live on us humans and also their different life cycles so I'm going to take you through a little bit now um, I'm not camera ready today so I'm just going to keep it on the screen you hear that cameraman <laughs> just on the <laughs> screen <laughs> Um, so in front of you now is three mites. Instagram's having a little bit of trouble focusing. So I'm just going to talk guys, but if you have any questions, whether it's mites, symptoms, Andrex protocol, anything, comment wherever you're watching, um, and I'll try and answer them all. Uh, so we usually get quite a bit of activity. So. I'll try my best, but if at any point your point isn't addressed, feel free to send us a PM or comment and we'll get back to you. Uh, so on screen are some male demotics mites. So you can see here the outlines. So mites are semi-transparent, um, which is one of the challenges in them being picked up. So specifically the males are pretty much just an outline. Um, I'm going to take you through a little bit of their anatomy later. So this one guy here, or I should say lady, see she's quite dark in the body. Um, so she's full of eggs and oils and feces that are building up. Um, so we'll just keep taking you through the slides. So thank you for all the love, everyone. Um, I don't know how clear it is, but there's actually three mites here. So there's this lady. Again, she's quite dark in the body. And if you look very closely, which I'll do my best to get the camera, you can actually see this mite is quite active. So you can see those little legs moving the mouthpiece at the top, and then the tail coming down here. There's also two other, I'll get you in frame, two other mites here. So they're like under some skin flecks or oils. They're a little bit harder to see. Um, hi everyone, thank you. Uh, they're a little bit harder to see, but yeah, there's actually one, two, three. So, the person we tested, there's another two more there. So you can see even though they're demotics mites, they're all quite different shapes. A um, bit like us humans, we're all a little bit different, although we follow the same basic shape. So the lady we tested for this had um, pretty severe seborrheic dermatitis, uh, which is a newer symptom that's sort of coming to light from an overpopulation of demotics mites. Uh, I posted earlier in a few SD groups on Facebook, so hopefully some of you managed to join. If you're watching this after the fact, just send 
send me a message. I'm always happy to chat. Um, so you can see from this microscopic test that there is a lot of mites. There's another little brevis here, which is under a few layers of skin or cells. So it's a little bit tricky to see, but hopefully the camera is picking that up. Uh, guys, let me know if you can hear me properly. I know my Australian accent is pretty strong, but I do do my best. Um, hopefully you can understand. So this slide was basically a skin scraping. See, okay, let me just pause my explanation here. This slide here is a pretty epic example of a high population of demotics mites. So usually when someone comes into our office for a test, we're lucky to find between one to five. That usually indicates like a pretty high population. Um, in, this, in this shot alone, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six mites in one shot. Um, so you can imagine the woman whose skin this came off had some pretty tough symptoms she's been battling with. Um, so I said a little bit earlier, in case you don't know, there's two different species that live on us humans and this is like a pretty decent example. So there's the Demotix follicorum, so you can see these here. They're quite long in the bodies, so they live under hair follicles um, or in the pores of your skin. And these ladies up here, you can see they're quite short and stumpy, although they have the base, same basic structure. Uh, they're Demotix brevis, and they actually live in down in the oil glands. Um, so it's pretty normal for people to have both species, but we just, oh my gosh, I can't speak, generally see Folochlorum a little bit more often when we do these tests because they, um, they're a little bit more shallow generally than the brevis deep in the glands and come up to the surface for us to pick up. Um, so where was I saying? Thank you for the thumbs up everyone and all the love. Um, if you do have any skin problems or wondering what I'm talking about, if you've never heard of us before, please do comment because um, this is a conversation I have not just me, all of us here at Arjex have quite often, um, multiple times a day. So if I get it out of the way on a live video, I read a lot more people at the same time. Uh, and like, trust me, you're not the only one going through whatever whatever's happening with your skin. Um, so this skin scraping, again, going to show the microscope this is coming from. Um, so the sample which is on the slide here looks pretty tiny, which it is. Um, this specifically came off, uh, was it the forehead and the hairline. Um, so she had issues on scalp and face. So you can see from that small area we tested, there is a whole lot of mites. So mites are demotics specifically, I should say. That's what we sort of specialize in. Although we we can sort of target other kind of mites living on humans. Um, but demotics is really what we preach because there is not enough information out there in my opinion. Um, oh my gosh, I lost my train of thought. Send me some questions, guys. <laughs> Please stop this monologue. Um, so you can see there's there's like lots of different kinds. So I'm gonna try and find a really clear shot and go up close. So even here, there's one, two, three, four, five, and there's some dead bodies as well. Um, so what I actually was gonna say is this is in it analogy I make with demotics mites. Oh, okay. Let's zoom up on one of these guys here. Um, 
So demonic mites are kind of like if you've ever had a problem with cockroaches in your house. Sounds gross, I know, but oh, got a reflection there. Sorry, see. <laughs> um, if you have or any kind of parasite like infestation in your house, generally, you know, if you see one or two you know that there's not just one or two there's like hundreds if not thousands more behind the wall so that's kind of like demotic mites if we pick up a couple on this test because the test isn't always 100 percent accurate um, for example if you have dry skin it's harder to pick up but generally if we pick up a few on the test, you have a lot more hiding under the actual follicles and inside the oil glands. Um, people have been found to show up to 25 packed, packed in there per follicle, um, which can cause lots of problems like your acne, rosacea, hair loss, blepharitis, uh, seborrheic dermatitis in this lady's case. Um, so I'm gonna try and get a good shot. I've zoomed in a little bit. So this lady is on her side, so you can see there's, they have eight legs as adults, there's four legs here, so she's on her side, this is, I hope the other cameras are picking this up, um, this is her mouth and then the body full of eggs, feces and food. Um, so they are pretty terrifying little things, um, and you can see there's another one up here that's sort of on her back. Let me try and get this in focus. I'm looking at the one up the top. So you can see the legs moving pretty clearly. So anyone watching, have you heard of demonic mites before? Have you talked to us? Tell, tell me something interesting. Um, even I know we have a few like doctors or dermatologists or some people in the skincare industry specifically that um, I'm sure see patients with pneumotics problems. Um, so we're based in here in Australia, in Melbourne. So if you are local, we do um, perform these tests by appointment. I might zoom up on this, this one here. It's pretty clear. There's not a lot of skin to block it. Um, so you can feel free to contact us for an appointment. However, we do um ship all around the world we have customers everywhere especially in the united states um so in the cases where melbourne's a little bit too far away we do have an online test um that's just on our website it's called the quiz on there so it's i think 22 or 23 questions about symptoms and lifestyle it's a great place to start if you think Demotic mites are potentially a problem, especially if you've tried, like most people have, a lot of different treatments. Demotics could be an underlying issue. Um, I really encourage you to look into it if you haven't already. So this is a adult female demotic spolochlorum. Um, see all the eggs in her body there. She's quite active. So a little bit out of focus but if you look you can see her little legs moving so they do move quite quickly um, so at night time one of the most common symptoms are itching or crawling feelings that often not always but often gets worse at night time um, and that's because they can't tolerate the sunshine so all that crawling you're feeling um, these sharp little legs times you know, probably a couple of thousand, depending on your situation, is generally contributing to that. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to finish up pretty soon. I'll give it a couple more minutes. If any questions come through, please feel free to answer. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, finish up a look through this test. Um, but yeah, I hope it's been useful. Demotic mites do definitely play a pretty fundamental role in the health of your skin. So 
best case scenario whatever symptoms you're experiencing so another one here i'll try and active get the legs in focus um so if you look carefully she's moving around yeah so best case scenario your symptoms can potentially be attributed to an overpopulation of demotic mites worst case scenario they are just a contributing factor because they do eat fats and oils and nutrients a lot of other treatment products it doesn't matter if they're like the most amazing products in the world they will feed demotic mites um, which in turn makes their population stronger and you know your body like a five-star resort so that's it's basically like you need to clear your skin like if you wanted a healthy garden you would need clear soil you need to remove any insects or parasites that are stopping your plants from taking in the nutrients um, so that's very similar to your skin so guys this is the last mite i'm going to show you can see she's quite active there's the two pincers up the top that's what they eat with there's the eight legs and the underbelly so she's on her back i'll try and get a clear shot but she's in a few different focuses um, so you can see her legs moving and then there's the body packed full of eggs and other things that are ready to liquefy under your skin and spread bacteria. So I hope this was informative. Um, you can find us across social media. So whatever platform you are watching on right now, like, subscribe, follow, keep up to date, message us if you have further questions. We're all super friendly um, and yeah, information really is key. So that's sort of what we aim to provide to empower you to sort of, you know, know what's going on with your body. Um, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more. Bye. good okay ending when I figure out how to do it thanks YouTube